Okay. Namaskar everyone. Sorry, I am late. Let's start. Go to your mic. Start to let's start with. My leg will lucky for you. Hands on your knees. Close your eyes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Tell yourself that the next one hour is all for yourself. For the practice of yoga. Through the practice of yoga. Nalini sister, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me? Can I? Can I move sister? Sit up straight. Close your eyes. Through the practice of yoga, you are getting healthier and happier day by day. Through the practice of yoga, you are getting calm and peaceful. Through the practice of yoga, you are spreading love, light, peace and harmony to the world. Inhale, exhale. Be here. Be at the present moment and tell yourself that the next one hour is all for your well-being. Open your eyes, stretch your legs forward. You will start off with from your partner. Inhale, squeeze your toes forward. Exhale, wet your body. Inhale, forward. Exhale, wet your body. Now for your ankle, inhale, forward. Exhale, wet your body. Inhale, forward. Exhale, wet your body. Take the part, close pointed at this point. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, center. The other way up. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Align by the legs. Place your palms on your knees. Engage your knee cap. Bring your heels up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now bring this way of the legs together. Move the knee up and down. Keep the knee as a butterfly. One, two, three, four, five. Now place your elbow on your upper thigh. Inhale, it up. Exhale, push your knee down. Go all the way down. Stay. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go down again. Stay. One, Two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Stretch your legs forward. Interlock your fingers under your right knee. Inhale, up. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, place on your left thigh. Massage your soul. You can massage up to your knee. Now place your right palm on your right knee. Inhale, push down. Exhale, towards your body. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Release hip joint rotation. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Straighten. Now interlock your fingers under your left knee. Inhale, up. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, place on your Right thigh, massage your soul. You can massage up to your knee. Now, place your left palm on your left knee. Inhale, push down. Exhale, towards your body. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Release, each other. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Straighten. 
right leg over your left leg, breathing. Stretch your hands forward, inhale, pass up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Thumbs on your shoulder, elbows together. Inhale, all the way up. Inhale up your fingers, exhale, pull your curve. Thumbs on your shoulder, inhale, forward. Exhale, all the way up. Inhale, to the front. Release, now for your neck. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, bring it in towards your chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the right. Back to the center. To the left. Center. Tilt to the right. Center. To the left. Center. Lastly, I want to exercise. Interlock your fingers, thumbs up. Gaze at the tip of the thumb. Bring your thumb up. All the way down. To the center. To the right, center, to the left, center, to the tip of your nose, say one, two, three, four, five, back to the center. To the space in between your eyebrows, look up, say one, two, three, four, five, back to the center, release. Up, Hatha Yoga. Come to the front of your mat. Legs apart according to your hip width. Hands in Namaskar Mudra. Close your eyes. Imagine like there is a tiny sun at your navel point. Imagine like the tiny sun is moving up to your eyebrow center. When the tiny sun is moving up, it's spreading yellow color light throughout your body. The yellow color light is now spread six feet around you. The yellow color light is giving you warmth and protection. Now, imagine like the tiny sun is moving back to your navel point, your Manipura Chakra. It's energizing your Manipura Chakra. Right now, you are directly connected to the sun. You are fully energized to do Surya Namaskar. Before you start, thank the nature. Thank the universe. Thank all your teachers, gurus and mahans. Thank your fellow practitioners. Thank yourself, thank your body for the opportunity to practice yoga. Open your eyes. Inhale sideways up, look up. Exhale to the center of your chest. Inhale all the way forward and behind. Exhale all the way down. Now bring your right leg behind your right toes flat. Inhale, open up your chest, look up. Hands down, mountain pose. Stay one, two, three, four, five. Bring both your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale up. Exhale, sit on your hips. Inhale, Madhuryasana. Exhale, Parvatarasana. Right leg forward, in between your hands. Inhale, open. Hands down, straighten your knees. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Left leg behind, inhale, open. Hands down, mountain pose. Your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale up. Exhale, sit on your hips. Inhale, Madhuryasana. Exhale, Parvatarasana. Left leg forward. Inhale, open. Hands down. Straighten your knees. Inhale, on the way up. Exhale, on the way down. Right leg behind. Inhale, open. Hands down. Mountain push. Both your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale, sit on your heels. Inhale, Madhuryas. Exhale, Parvatarasana. Right leg forward. Inhale, open. 
Hands down. Straighten your knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Left leg behind. Inhale, open. Hands down. Mountain pose. Both your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale, sit on your heels. Inhale, Madhuryasana. Exhale, Padakarasana. Left leg forward. Inhale, open. Hands down. Straighten your knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Right leg behind, inhale open. Hands down, mountain pose. Your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale up. Exhale, sit on your heels. Inhale, Madhuryasana. Exhale, Parvatarasana. Right leg forward, inhale open. And start. Straighten your knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Left leg behind. Inhale open. Hands down. Mountain foot. Both your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down. Inhale up. Exhale, sit on your heels. Inhale, Marjorias. Exhale, Parvatarasana. Left leg forward. Inhale open. Hands down, straighten your knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Right leg behind, inhale open. Hands down, mountain pose. Your knees down, your chest down, and chin down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Right leg forward, inhale open. Hands down, straighten your knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Left leg behind. Inhale open. Hands down, mountain pose. Your chest down, chin down, knee down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg forward. In between your hands. Inhale open. Hands down. Straighten your knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to the center of your chest. Inhale sideways up. Exhale to the center of your chest. Ashtanga Surya Namaskar A. Samastidhi. Come to the front of your mat. Both your legs together. Roll your shoulders behind. Hands at the side of your body. Inhale up. Exhale go down. Inhale, head up. Bend your knees, jump up. Inhale, upward facing, elbow stick, come up. Exhale, downward facing. Stay one, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, four, five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hit down. Inhale up. Exhale, samastidhi, samastidhi. Inhale, up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, head up. Bend your knees, jump up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Stay one. Inhale, exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hit down. Inhale up. 
Exhale, Samastidhi. Samastidhi. Inhale up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, head down. When you knees, jump up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Stay one. Inhale, exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale. Three. Four, five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hit down. Inhale up. Exhale, samastidhi, samastidhi. Inhale up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, hit up. Bend your knees, jump up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Stay one. Inhale, exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale. Three. Four, five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, head down. Inhale up. Exhale, samastidhi. Last round, samastidhi. Inhale up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, head up. Bend your knees, jump out. Inhale, upward facing, elbow straight, come up. Exhale, downward facing. Step one, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three. Four. Five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hit down. Inhale up. Exhale, Samastidhi. Ashtanga Surya Namaskar. B. Samastidhi. Come to the front of your mat. Both your legs together. Uttakasana. Go down to the stomach. Exhale, hit down. Inhale, hit up. Bend your knees, jump up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now, bring your right leg forward. In between your hands. Inhale, up, Virabha Drasana. Exhale, body down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Left leg forward, inhale, up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, body down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing. Now, step one, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, four, five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hit down. Inhale, up, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastidhi. Samastidhi. Utkatasana, go down, touch, Amma. Exhale, hit down completely. Inhale, hit up completely. 
Bandanese jump out chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Right leg forward in between your hands. Inhale, up Virabhadrasana. Exhale, body down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Left leg forward. Inhale, up Virabhadrasana. Exhale, body down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now stay one. Inhale, exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale. Three. Four. Five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hip down. Inhale up, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastidhi. Samastidhi. Utkatasana, go down, catch them up. Exhale, hip down. Inhale, head up. Bend your knees, jump out. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Right leg forward. Inhale, up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, body down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Left leg forward. Inhale, up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, body down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now stay one. Inhale, exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hip down. Inhale, up, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastidhi. Samastidhi. Utkatasana, go down, touch down. Exhale, hit down. Inhale, hit down. Bend your knees, jump up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Right leg forward in between your hands. Inhale, up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, body down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Left leg forward. Inhale, up, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, body down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing. Now, stay one. Inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three. Four. Five. Bend your knees, jump to the front. Exhale, hit down. Inhale up, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastidhi, Samastidhi. 
ചതുരങ്ക ீரபத்ராசனாஸ்வரி முந்தி மாதிரி ஆகுது ரொம்ப முன்னுக்கு இருக்கு யூ ஹேவ் டு செக் பை இது குறைச்சு டூ இங்கே லட்சி த்ரீ ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் பெனிஸ் ஜம்பு Exhale, hit down. Inhale, up to Kutasana. Exhale, Samasthi. Please sit down. Okay. We will continue with asanas for today. Before that, yesterday, Sheila called me at 7.04. at that time i was actually sleeping suppose class 7 o'clock la 704 shila called me i was sleeping yesterday was i'm not sure whether you all will understand what i'm saying yesterday was atipati day for me atipati day na inna na hari yakida wujud in my life <laughs> day before yesterday um, last week last whole week i think since wednesday it was a very packed day for me people will feel weird when i say i didn't have enough time to sleep but seriously i didn't have enough time to sleep mm, i told that see with my parents also i didn't talk all these days my parents went to india they came back my father came back and he all he is already back in hometown i did not get to see my father so before he went back you know na it's like i did not agree yesterday what happened because it was back to back then went to singapore it was very warm in singapore uh, a lot of things to do walking around all these things i did not get to rest well i think then what happened why i am sharing this on sunday we had pranayama class where um, i was sharing about it was the last class so we were going through all this pranayama then there was this one pranayama which is very intense actually this pranayama we can only teach student if they are practicing consistently for minimum one year so it's uh, that intense ana or pranayama i have never taught in any classes except for in that class because it's supposed to be for instructors so i was teaching initially i did not do the pranayama fully because i know i was very tired if i do the pranayama it is not good for me but uh in the end i actually did the actual pranayama fully immediately right after i did the pranayama one round itself i had terrible headache very bad headache and i had that headache Uh, right after doing the pranayama i think it was about 1 o'clock 1 1 plus and get 1 o'clock until today in the morning i had uh, the headache actually subsided only today in the morning that whole night even after taking medication even through my sleep i had that headache and yesterday whole day i only slept i got up took medicine slept back got up took medicine slept back and the look it was very bad why i am sharing this so in a way it is also a reminder to me that pranayama is actually very very powerful you cannot simply uh, uh, do pranayama mm, uh, of course immediately i told them also i am having bad headache 
after showing this pranayama to all of you and uh, that's why so pranayama is something which is very very powerful if you are practicing pranayama practice it properly consistently and you must always have your physical practice you must start with your asana then you do your pranayama mm, any pranayama if you want to increase the kumbhaka you, you remember we always do retention and all uh, do let me know sometimes certain kumbhaka we will feel like i can go further but the moment we do we feel like something is not right then uh, that is why last time if you all remember we did kapalapati kapalapati increase panikite and then there was a point we stopped when we started back we started back from 1 minute 5 seconds like that we started all over again because it's like building the pranayama breathing practice is just like asana we build our stamina if let's say you have stopped for some time for you to start all over again you have to start from um, uh, scratch once again or you try first before you go all out because uh, like what i said um, pranayama if you don't do it correctly it may be harmful to you uh, it's a reminder that uh, uh, it's see it's supposed to be done five rounds one round itself memang i had very bad headache i was wondering yeah headache yeah headache then i checked with my master my master said the uh, pranayama is the reason behind because i've never had headache continuously for 3 days like this okay uh, uh, uh yeah i just wanted to remind all of you but it is also another reminder one one reminder that pranayama is very powerful so you have to do it correctly but at the same time it is also a reminder that we must practice pranayama if it is done correctly according, according to what is Uh, shared to you it will give tremendous benefit uh, especially uh, to control our, uh, our emotion um, to control uh, uh, us mentally as well as to uh, mainly to control our senses okay okay today uh, in some places uh, vinayagar chaturthi was celebrated yesterday in some places today Uh, today we will do asanas related to vinayagar chaturthi we will do asana related to vinayagar vinayagar is i will uh, message me dear message me separately okay i will share with you okay so vinayagar chaturthi is celebrated as a day to celebrate Uh, uh lord ganesha ganesha vandu he is in the uh, he looks like half elephant and half human there are many stories behind it uh, we are not going to look into the story but we will do certain asanas uh, which is related to ganesha in uh, yoga sutra patanjali yoga sutra there is a sutra um, there is a verse uh, where um, we can take it as it is about vinayagar the the sutra is uh, uh, baleshu hasti baladini baleshu hasti baladini na uh, if you want to be strong like an elephant you have to concentrate on an elephant it actually the meaning behind it is whatever you concentrate at you will become just like it if you concentrate in positivity life will become more positive if you concentrate on negativity you will uh, a lot of negativity will come to you adhe madri if you concentrate on vinayagar for example vinayagar is known as vinayagar organisha is known as someone who is who removes obstacle he is someone who is smart why he is smart when the brother goes all around the world to impress the parents he decided to just go around the parents to say that mm, i have gone around the world you see last time when i was small my favorite god was vinayagar i was impressed with the story he went around the parents because he knows mm, he loves the parents so much i am something like vinayagar also i will always say all the most beautiful words to my parents and i am my parents uh, favorite so so i always see vinayagar like myself i 
M. Like Vinayagar also. So, um, uh, so if you want to become strong like Vinayagar, then you have to concentrate on Vinayagar most of the time. We will, let's say you like Hanuman, you will want, you will, you will be someone who is very strong, someone who is very loyal. It is supposed to be so. Number one, why we like certain God? Because so that we will take up their characteristic. Okay, and the sutra order meaning. Okay, so today we will do last, we will do one pranayama together with mudra, which is related to Ganesha. Now we will do one asana. First is leg balancing asana, leg balancing together with. Hmm, Leg balancing together with back bending asana, which is related to something that Vinayagar likes. Vinayagar likes sugar cane. Okay, now we put the prayers like sugar cane. So we will do sugar cane pose. Okay, how do we do sugar cane pose? We will call Rashmi to do the asana. Okay, we actually we always do this asana during our flow. Huh? Okay, you will hold your bend your right knee. Hold your right ankle. Then you will go all the way down. Place your hand in front. In front of your right leg. No, put your Okay. Okay. Now kick up. Okay. Yes, we need to put your hand in front of your right leg. No, okay. Bend your right knee. Hold your right ankle. Go all the way down. Bring your hand forward some more. Okay, kick higher. 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 Okay. This asana is known as Artha Chandra Sapasana or Sugar Cane Pose. Okay, come. Let's do together. Okay, bend your right knee. Hold your right ankle. Okay. Go all the way down. Okay. Hand must be in front of your left foot. Go lower, keep higher. Higher, higher. Okay. You can be on the tip of your fingers if you want to. Higher, stay one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, your hands. And hand is not reaching the floor, you can go further forward or you can also hold your ankle. Two, inhale, go lower. Three, four, higher, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and eight. Okay, now the other side. Bend your left knee, pull your left ankle. Go down. Then keep higher. Same. Say one. Keep high. Two higher. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Three. Okay, that is sugar cane pose. The next one will be Gajasana. Gajasana is actually a very uh, rare pose. It's a pose which is uh, shared in Sri Tatvanidhi in our scripture. Uh, Sri Tatvanidhi, if not mistaken, is written in 17th century. Uh, it's an asana which is... Uh, there is also... There are also reference saying that Downward facing dog that we are doing now is actually an asana which is simplified from Gaja asana. It's meant to uh, strengthen our upper back. Okay. Mm 
So it is longer to each other. Okay, you will do like you are doing down and facing see first. Huh? And then both your legs will be closer. Hands will still be in. Hands in the middle of the leg. Hands will be aligned with your shoulder leg. Okay, now from this position, you will open up your elbow sideways like this. Uh, okay, come up until the tip of your toes. Uh, you will come up on the tip of your toes and then bend your elbow sideways like that. Okay, this the asana looks easy, right? <laughs> Why is this asana, gajasana? Both your legs close to each other. Okay. Go down. Come up on the tip of your toes. Okay. Can you see the uh, the ears of the gajah sideways? Yeah. It is the ears of the gajah. Okay. Come. Let's try. If you don't find it hard, you wait to me. I will check. It is supposed to be hard. You must come up on your toes. You will be balanced. Your heel must be lifted off the floor. Both your legs close to each other. Okay. Come up on the... Lift your heels off the floor. Okay. Now, bend your elbow sideways like this. Ah. Okay, and our head should not go forward. Head should go down. And because it's the head forward, forward to left, down. Like you do downward facing. It, ah, answer this is the correct. Okay, go down. Ah, is very correct. Stay, stay. One, two, three, four. Uspala stress is a knee straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Release. Come up. Illa gaja wo wait wait wait. Wait wait wait. You have to stay. Come. Let's do one more time. If you want to. Mm, one of the asanas that we can do to strengthen our upper body, let's say you want to work on your upper body uh, so that you can do your arm balancing asanas better, your hip stand better, then this is the asana. Come, let's do one more time. See, you open sideways like this. Go, it must go close to the floor, but it shouldn't touch the floor. Okay, go one more time. Come up on your toes. Okay, inhale, exhale, go down. Lower, lower. Stay one, lower. Two, let me lower. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, really, come on. Okay, this asana, every day you do three rounds, hmm. eight counts, good enough to build upper body strength. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, we will do one mudra, Ganesha mudra. Mm, then we will uh, okay, this asana we have done before this uh, all of you can do this asana except for those who are new we will do together this asana has got nothing to do with vinayagar actually but in English this asana is called um, uh, Eka it is Eka Hasta Bhuja Asana Eka is one Hasta is head Buja is shoulder or upper arm. So, but in English, it is called elephant trunk pose. So, we will do this uh, uh, for Vinayagat Sarvati. But actually, in Sanskrit,
with that's nothing to do it has got nothing to do with like but you will still do okay okay how do we do this asana we will do the simplified simplified version of ekahasana pujasana right leg you will lift up over your shoulder as much as possible place your hand at the side of your hip then you will bend your left knee and place your knee over your right foot from this position you can inhale keep the knee down on the block inhale lift your hip up then we back this leg will get lifted from the side it will look like helified plan all right Let's try it again. Right leg on top of your right shoulder. Knee must go as high as possible. Now bend your left knee. Bring your knee above your uh, right ankle. Now lift your hip up as much as possible. Then lean back, engage this leg so that this leg gets lifted. Go as much as possible. From here, lean up. Come back. Ah, Chanti. Okay, the rest try. Auntie saying auntie. Ah, Sharon, correct Sharon. Uh, engage the leg. Engage the leg which is down on the floor. Engage, lift up. Ah, auntie, nice. Ah, Sharon. Okay, Sharon. Ah, nice. Very good. Okay, the rest do. Nice, very nice. Shila saying Shila. Hmm. Nice. Lock pane ga Shila. Lock pane ga. Okay. Shall we do? Hmm. Nice. Good girl. Okay. Do there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, lock. Okay, very good. Lift up. Hmm. Now straighten your knee. Engage. Straighten. No, kunjo. Knee straighten, banana. Straighten your knee. Okay. Hmm. No, kunjo. Okay, see, eh? Let me show the technique. One more time. Okay. Actual asana is this one. Okay, this is the actual asana. But now, I want to, I can lift my one leg up. But this leg, I can't lift up. So what I will do, I will fix here. Okay. So now when I'm lifting my hip up, I am holding the bottom part of my knee. So this leg will help me to lift the other leg up. So first you have to try to lift your hip up. Fix here, lift your hip up. Okay. After hip lift, this leg, this leg can help me to Lift this leg up. Like that. Right. So, right? If once you have done with one leg, go for the other leg. Come here. Try. Right. Thank you. Come here.
Okay. Okay. You can continue practicing after this. Before we conclude, we will do one mudra. Before we do the mudra, I want to just share word of wisdom, not from me, but from my master. If you see in all our pictures, Sami pictures, if you see Vinayagar, the food that he has with him are all vegetables. And his friends will be animals. So, all other god, the friends will be, the friends, the vehicle will all be animals. And food will be all vegetables, fruits and all. So, this is something very nice my master shared. So, I would like to share with all of you. So, what does it show is our, our food must be fruits, vegetables, Something which is not uh, non-vegetable. And we should treat all other animals like our friends. They are part of us. That's why they are in the family picture also. They are there. Can uh, Shiva not a model in the uh, Peacock, the family picture, but in the Shiva not a family picture, everyone will be there. Peacock will be there, Madi will be there, Pambu will be there, every uh, Eli will be there, everyone will be there in the family picture. It is just to remind us that uh, animals are our friends, it's not for us to eat. So, so I, whenever I share this. The reason why I share this, it is not to promote, uh, to uh, literally promote being vegetarian, but subtly to promote being vegetarian. If you try being vegetarian for a week, vegetarian, vegetarian, let's just try being a vegetarian for a week. Try You will see the difference in the way you think in the way uh, how you look at life, it will be less complicated because the food that we are taking is less complicated. It, this has got nothing, I'm not saying anything about being religious and all those things, just about us physically. One of these days we can, we will speak about uh, uh, being vegetarian and all, okay? Before we conclude, let me share the mudra that we can practice. Okay, this mudra can be practiced by anyone, but of course, uh, if you have taken your meal, it should be practiced at least two hours after your meal, uh, or you can practice in the morning. How this mudra is called Ganesha mudra. Ganesha mudra is a chess opener, also, it's a chess opener where you will become more confident after doing this mudra. Okay, how do we do this mudra? You will start from Anjali Mudra. Anjali Mudra and Namaskar Mudra is known as Anjali Mudra. From this position, your right hand will be in front. You will turn it sideways. Get in there? Like this. Then, like this. Okay. Every time you can, when you are doing this, you can actually chant any mudra. A chant any mantra. And as this is uh, Ganesha Mudra, you can actually chant Om Ganapatiye Namaha. So when you are, or you just chant Om also can, or you want to just concentrate on your breathing. When you inhale, you pull it tight. When you exhale, relax. Inhale. Exhale. Like that. You can make sure that your elbows are pointed sideways. Come, let's do together. Namaskar. Sideways. Then your thumb will be on top. The other thumb will be at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Pull it to the side. Both hands will be pulling each other sideways. You will inhale. When you exhale, you can chant oh. or 
you can inhale fully gam ganapati namaha sorry om gam ganapati namaha. inhale fully exhale om gam ganapati namaha also can okay do five rounds on your own or just concentrate on your breathing also Okay. okay, when can you do this mudra? You can do in the morning, especially in the morning. Let's say you are uh, going for an interview. Okay, dear. you are going for an interview or you are having um, any meetings where you feel like you lack of confidence, you can actually do this mudra. It will give you a lot of confidence. It will make you feel, uh, let's say, on days when you feel a bit down, a bit uh, emotionally down, you can actually do this mudra also and concentrate in your breathing. Mm, you will feel way much better immediately after that. You can actually do every day in the morning, but always remember, start with your asana practice. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. Like what I said just now, and the Bale Shu Hasti Bala Dinina, other meaning when the uh, when you concentrate on uh, elephant, you will be strong like elephant. So concentrate your energy in anything that brings positivity in your life. There can be a lot of ups and downs in life. Every time when there is something which is pulling you down. Uh, remind yourself on the blessings in your life. You will uh, attract more for the blessings in your life. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a blessed evening ahead. Thank you, dear. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. I miss you too. Take care. Bye bye. Nipashni, Anisha, Revati sister, Hanisha. Take care, dear. Bye. Puspalata sister, Tila sister, Nirmala sister, Amika sister. Bye. Parmeshwari sister. Bye. Kavita, Arun, Silvi. Sister, bye. Raji Suri, sister. Devani, sister. Tulisi, bye. Tulisi. Tanusha, bye. Tanusha. Girls, Karana, bye. Anna. Bye, bye. Bye, Kalpana. Bye, Kalpana. Kavi Priya. Bye, 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 everyone. Kala, and bye, auntie. Monisha, bye. Sharon, bye. Sharon. Vino, take care, Vino. Bye, bye.